a él. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Release the need to be right. When you believe something, you assume you're right. You may even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down at 135, NASDAQ's up 47, SP's down 2. Gold, gold contract down five dollars, trading at nineteen sixty-eight an ounce. We have silver down twenty-five cents, twenty-four dollars eighty-four cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck sixty-eight, trading out at eighty-three dollars thirty-two cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a ten-year note up six ticks, trading at a price point of one hundred one one eleven oh one. The thirty-year up fourteen ticks at one twenty-one twenty-two. You get the ten-year right now. Trading at 4.08. We were at 4.33, folks, two weeks ago, 10 days ago, okay? So it's pretty intense. And King Dollar. King Dollar's up 437 ticks, trading at 103.594. The Euro is out here at 108. The Yen is trading at 145, and the British Pound is at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. Well, first, let's take a look at the futures out here, because this is going to get kind of intriguing out here and into the close. Because what we did have this morning is that you had a high volume high out here. Let me see this. Let me see this. Okay, so you got... No, no, it went above that. It went above that. So... Yeah, you can throw the dice on this one, actually. Because I was, what I was going to say is that you had a high volume high up to that 45.15. I mean, 45.35. Yeah, 45.35 might be game right here. Right there. You know, you can see that spike. Then you get over the spike, you gave it up, came down, had that, you had that big bar, you know, uh, out there at about uh, 12.40. It just came into that big bar with light love volume, so it's going to try to charge into the close. That's on the. That's just intraday. Now on the on the daily, in my take is that we're going to go for these highs. Why? Because what you have, you're right next to them. I mean, you're you're right into them already. You can see we're right into the lows of the high. The lows of the high are four fifty one fifty five. We've hit four fifty two eighty three today. You have a contraction of volume, you know, yeah, it's light volume, but, you know, you can have a jobs number yes t uh, tomorrow. And, you know, if the jobs, this is where bad news is going to be good news for the market. So if you get a light jobs number, what you're going to have, you're going to have another indication that, you know, things are backing down. And we had the inflation number that came out this morning, the PCE, it came out at 0.02. Now, they're looking for that, but when you do 0.02, you know, times 12, well, bottom line, you get 2.4%. Well, that's pretty good, man. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's how that shakes out. We go into the NDX 100. We take a look at the three Qs. What do you have with the three Qs? Same type of setup inside the three Qs. Three Qs are up two bucks right now. You're trading at 378. And you can see that the, the three Qs are definitely in the higher range now. You know, they've got into ice today, up two bucks. So the 387 is game. And if we do this, so let's go to the end, excuse me, we'll do the end queues and we'll take a look at this intraday. We take a look at this intraday. Yeah, see, these are two different charts. Pretty, pretty wild. Yeah, this is, the end queues are stronger than the uh, S&P. So the end queues very well may, may drag the S&P right up with it. You can see just the, just, the, just the last retracement. Look at this intraday. So the last retracement we just did intraday did just over a 0.382. That's saying that the highest game. We go into the notes and bonds. So the note and bond market continues to go higher. Uh, you just uh, we just said what the 10-year note is is going at. Uh, the 10-year 
today rejected 110.25. You're at 111.02. We go to now, this is going to be a cool one. We go to the dollar now. Check this out. The dollar is so deviant. It's unbelievable, man. But this is, do you see this happen a lot? So we take a look at the dollar. Now watch this. You take a look at it, and this is a good old Bud Rolfs deal. Whoops, not that one. And what it is, you break, whether it's an uptrend or a downtrend, right? You break that, and then you're going to want to come back up and test the underside of that trend line from the bottom. So we broke it with conviction yesterday. You had the wide price spread yesterday. It's coming back up to at the top of this trend right now is 101.992. We, we're so far 103.92, rather. We're at 103.585. What's going to be intriguing here is to see actually what it does in the next, you know, 50 minutes. The reason I'm saying that is that the market itself looks to me like it wants to run into the close. So if the market wants to run into the close, in order to give the market some breathing room, you're going to see the dollar basically get the lower price. And if the dollar gets the lower price, then you turn around and look at it again and say, okay, if you can't even make it to the top of the trend, that's showing that, in fact, you're even weaker than expected. Let's go take a look at the oil market. So oil's going to pop out here. You get the oil market to trading up a buck seventy-four. We take a look at that oil market. Look at that. You get three hundred thirty-nine thousand. Now this is going to get really interesting because what you have with oil right now is that you talk about not doing a retracement. Well, we take a look at oil. It did only a point three eight two retracement from the last leg up. We started out at sixty-seven. You got up to uh, eighty-four. You only back down to seventy-seven. And you can see this expansion of volume as you're coming into the swing point. So, you know, that, that lines up with the aspect that that dollar wants to pull back. Because if the dollar pulls back, folks, okay, you're going to see all these commodities go. Dow, Dow Industrials uh, down 123, NASDAQ up 56, S&P's a flat. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.